Hey guys, welcome to the 89th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the progress bar control. So, all you're going to need for this tutorial is two buttons and a progress bar. So, just go over to your toolbox and drag a progress bar over to your form. You just let me resize this. Alright. First property that we're going to be looking at is the maximum property. And the maximum property will basically just tell you the maximum value that your progress bar can hold. And the value is basically just how much progress your progress bar shows. So since the maximum is 100, if we set the value equal to 50, then we would show half progress because half of 100 is 50. If we were to set the value equal to 100, then we would see the progress show full. And if we were to set the value equal to 0, it would start up at the beginning. Or we wouldn't see any progress at all. And that'll bring us to our next property, which is the minimum property. And that is basically just the minimum value that your progress bar can hold. And you're almost always going to want to keep that at zero. So now I'm going to show you how to show progress in your progress bar using code. So just go ahead and double click on your do stuff button. And we're going to be using, or just, we're going to be using the value to set the value of the uh, progress bar. So we're just going to do progress bar one dot value and then we're just going to do plus equals 10. So every time that we click this button, it will add 10 to the progress bar. So it will move up a tenth of the way since a uh, tenth of 100 is 10. And it will take 10 clicks to get to the end of the progress bar. Let's just go ahead and test this out and make sure it works. Yep, it's moving quite smoothly. Now I'm going to show you how to program the reset button. So now when we double click on the reset button right here, we're just going to set the progress bar 1's value equal to its minimum value. So we're just going to do progress bar 1 dot value equals 0 since its minimum value is 0. So no matter how much progress we have right here, when we click the reset button, it should just reset it back to the beginning. Yep, and even if we had more progress, yep. Now, if we were to click this button 11 times, since the maximum is 10, we're going to get an error. Yep, it says value 110 is not valid for value. And it says the value should be between the minimum and the maximum. Well, instead of using the, just setting the value, we can use the perform step method. And the perform step method will basically just move it a set number of uh, values up. So, and you can change the size of the step by using the step property. And right now, the step is equal to 10. So, it would just be doing the same thing as before. Only this time, uh, perform step method. So, this time when we click it, no matter how many times we click it, we won't get that error. So, it's just a much cleaner way of doing things. And I suggest using this method over use just setting the value of it. And like I said, you can change the uh, size of the step just by using the step property. So if we were to change this to 1, it would move up only one value each time we perform the step. Yeah, you can barely see the progress when you have to click it really rapidly. Yeah. So that's one style for the progress bar. The next one that I'm going to be showing you is mainly going to be used when you don't know when the end of a process or when you don't know when a process will end. So you're just going to want to change the style down here to Marquee. And in order to have it um, do Marquee, we're going to be using the Marquee Animation Speed property. And if we, set, if we keep this at 100 right now, it will basically just uh, start moving as soon as we debug. And we don't want that. So we're going to have it only start moving across when we click this Do Stuff button. So we're going to set the um, Marquee Animation Speed now equal to 100, which is a pretty good speed for it. So now when we debug here, we should just see it moving across, and there won't be an end. And you'll see. So yeah, it just continues to scroll across, and this is mainly used when you don't know when the end of a process will be. And you can change the speed of this. If you want it to go faster, just lower the value. So if we set this equal to 10, it will go really fast. Yep. If we set it equal to, like, I'll set it equal to 200 because 1,000 is really slow. So if we set it equal to 200 here, you can see it moves much slower. In order to reset it, 
Like right now, when we click reset, it's not going to do anything because we just set the value equal to zero. Well, you can, you could just set the marquee animation speed equal to zero, but basically that will just halt it in its tracks. So now if you click this reset button, we'll still see the green. It'll just stop moving. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the style of the progress bar to um, something different. We're going to set it equal to uh, blocks. So now when you click the reset button, it should just reset it back to the beginning. Yep. However, now when you click this do stuff button, it's not going to do anything because it's the wrong style. So we're just going to have to change the style every time that the user clicks this button. Set this equal to progress bar one dot or progress bar style dot marquee. So now this should work fine. So now when we click this, it moves. When we click this button, it resets it, and it should move again once we click this button. And yep, everything looks good. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial on using the progress bar control. So see you guys.